Chesapeake Bay was the had the better best of oysters that you could find any place in the world were right in this bay. That and manos, clams. It were great. You can, and you want them to take a shovel, you go out and dig it. You want a clam, go dig some clams if you want them. You wanted some oysters, you go down on a pier and take a pair of nippers and get all the oysters you want. But see, it's not like that anymore. This was my first boat right there. Uncle Herbie gave me that boat when I was 16 years old. That was old Harrisville Forest Farm. Right down from there over to here was a marsh that came across and we put logs so we could come over from Boucher Avenue over here in, in Truxa. And this was in the 30s, early 40s. We crabbed here every day. Every day my father would get us up 5.30 in the morning before he goes to work. He said, the boys, okay, you crab today. Keep that trouble. You can, right here, you see your toenails. You can actually see your toes when you were walking down out through here. There wasn't no trouble crabbing. I mean, you see the crab a long time before you ever got to it. Dollar under the dollar doesn't steam. I mean, and you'll take about three, three and a half, four bush, uh, dozen of crabs, fill a bushel basket, then crabs were like this. And now they keep them at three and a half and four inches. You had grass from probably three foot offshore would go out six, seven feet. I mean, it was sick and that kept the water clean. A lot of time you just pick crabs off top of the grass. Just make sure I don't have any leaves or anything. There's so many boats, you can't even have a place to tie them up. They got to anchor them out. Yeah, this was all nothing but beach, all the way up to First Street. That's the many houses you have. You can't really them. But right now, they got them on top of each other. I wish, you, I wish I could say I make it like it was back in 1930. People would not believe it. People would not believe how it was back in when we were kids. To go back into history, in 1902, they took 48 million bushels of oysters out of the Chesapeake Bay. In 1959 or 58, they took, I think it was 18 million bushels. 2004, 222,000 bushels, that's all they took. The bay is, uh, it's got to be cleaned up. They've got to get the oysters back. That's going to clean the bay up quicker than anything. Get some grass growing here in the bay. A lot of people come out here and enjoy this water, but you know, they took their mess home when they, when they leave, left the water, take it with them, you wouldn't have as much trouble as you got today. There's always hope. Probably not in my day, but the younger people like you will probably see it clear. Because they're working towards it, they're working hard. But there's so many promises made and promises not kept is the worst part.